Hey guys, welcome to a video where today I'm gonna be testing out water slime recipes which you guys left in the comments and yeah, I'm super excited to test these out. So the first one we are going to be using, the recipe said that you needed any type of hand soap and any type of hair gel so I just got these two things. The recipe said it didn't matter what type they were, what brand. So the first thing they said was to add in even amounts of both into a container and then to stir it all up. So that's what I'm doing right here and as you guys can see it got a little bit foggy. So then they said to add in some water and to put it in the freezer for 5 minutes or 10 minutes. So I added it in the freezer for 5 minutes and this is how it turned out. It definitely was clumping up and it was definitely turning into slime. So I decided to pop it in the freezer for 5 more minutes to see if you get thicker. And guys, once it came out of the freezer, it was like this. It was totally slime, as you guys can see. It is definitely holdable, and it was definitely a big, big success. The only thing is that it was a little bit cold to the touch. But it's a definite success, and it was a little bit sticky, of course. But it's a big thumbs up for me. Really guys, did you actually believe this? Okay guys, so basically... Hey guys, welcome to the video where today I'm actually going to be exposing fake slimers that fake their recipes that they say that they're gonna be making slimes with no glue, no borax or anything but they're actually tricking you and they're like either switching up the slime, they're adding something in Something that they say shampoo might actually be glue, water might actually be borax, salt is actually borax, something like that. So today I'm just going to be showing you guys one way. So the way I did this slime is that I actually added in the glue. So if you guys go back and replay that, you can actually see that I added in glue. But there is another way that these fake slimers will trick you and that is the way I'm going to be showing it to you guys today. So the reason I'm making this is because there are so many people that are faking these recipes. I'm not just saying one YouTuber, two YouTubers. I'm saying a lot. I've come across many of them. They come up with all these excuses. Or some of them don't even come up with any excuses. They just trick you. And some people fall for it. The ones that are new into slime, they fall for it. They get the ingredients. They buy it. And at the end of the day, it doesn't work. And obviously, face max. Face mask slime is going to work. The cornstarch with the soap is going to work. Those do work, obviously. But I'm talking about the shampoo recipe. So please don't come saying like I tried this recipe from this person and it did work. Um, because those obviously do work. So here is one of the many ways that they can trick you. And it is to get a clear slime. I mean, not slime, a clear container, and then add in a little bit of clear glue and spread it all around the container. Make sure it is not visible. Here you can kind of see, but if you spread it enough, then they will be able to trick you. So, then what they say, I see this YouTuber that they're like, okay, so go this recipe from Instagram. You guys got it. You guys told me to do this and it is to get this body wash and this hair gel. So, I did that. And then, you know, get even amounts of both. So then, when they tell you that... To add in the water, I'm pretty sure one of the ways is to basically just add in actual borax and then take them saying it's water and then... Um... Say that you went to put it in the freezer and then they mix it up. And of course it's gonna work. Because it is glue and water. So here are some ways that you can actually tell that they are fake. So the first one is, guys, if the slime seems too good to be true, 
then E E C D T V three E does not work because shampoo slime will never ever be like glue slime. It will never not stick to you. And another way you can tell is that if they did go poo in the freezer, whenever they come back, the container should be foggy, obviously. And just to make it more realistic, they're like, oh my gosh, it was cold in my hand. And the key here is basically to grab it slowly and make it look sticky so it wouldn't look like it is actually. So obviously, again, if I'm making sense, they just basically put in the glue. And then, obviously, the containers, I mean, not the containers, the ingredients. So here, you can't even really tell that there is glue inside. So then, obviously, you just get anything like the dish soap. And then the hand soap, obviously. Say that you got it from, you know, Instagram or the comments. And then, obviously, the water is the borax. And then to make it even more realistic, you know, um, they actually show the freezer and everything. But obviously, you can tell that it wasn't really in the freezer because it doesn't even look foggy. So once you mix it, of course, since there is glue and borax in it, it will work. So then, with a little bit of keywords like saying that the slime was cold or making the um, slime look sticky, they can actually persuade you into thinking that it is actual shampoo slime. So make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Do not try those recipes guys, they are fake, it is clickbait. If the slime seem too good to be true, if they seem not sticky at all, they are definitely fake. And yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video.